Hey friends, it's Christy, and I'm so thrilled to be back for the April edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new Birdie Brown Picture Perfect stamp set, and I have picked out the two selfies that are featuring jungle critters, and I'm stamping those down with some extreme black hybrid ink on some Copic friendly cardstock. So I'm actually going to start with my background today. I thought it would be a lot easier to get in those long flicking strokes and not worry about dragging any of the dark brown into that area later. So it was just easy to get it done first. So I'm using the YG01 to fill in the area behind the monkey's heads completely. I'm trying to create kind of a dappled jungle uh, background. So next I'm going to add in the YG03 and continue to build up that color. I'm only going to go up a little ways above the monkeys and then into the darker areas where there would be a shadow like behind his arm. Then I'll continue with the YG05 in the same manner and then I'm going to blend all those colors out in the reverse. I did the sloth background exactly the same way and now I'm going to add some dot detail so that it looks like I have some uh, leaves that are kind of dappled in the background and out of focus and it just will create some nice ambience to the photo. So I added in the YG07 and I'm starting with that and then I'll continue to add dots with all of those colors in the reverse order and it'll come out looking like this. So now I can move on to my monkeys and for their skin I'm using E50, E51, and E53. Starting with that E53 I'm going to add some shadows to their face, hands, ears, and belly. And I'm just going to color the one on camera because I'm doing them both exactly the same. Then I'll bring in the E51 and begin to blend out the E53, just making sure to really uh, blend well so that I can eliminate any harsh lines that might be there. And then I'll fill in all the space that remains with the E50. I'll use the YR01 to add in some rosy cheeks on both of the monkeys and also add a little bit of color to the insides of their ears and then I'm going to blend that out with the E50 just so it softens it up just a bit. I'll use BG10 to outline the monkey's teeth so it, they look extra white and then I'll use E53, E55, and E57 for their fur. I'm using the E57 first to lay in some shadows especially under his head there where his neck is there would be some shadow cast there also on the edge of the frame near his belly and his hand um, where his arm is upraised and his head is in front of it that would also be casting a shadow and then also adding some shadow on either side of his head just to help it look more rounded and lift it off the background. Then I'm going to blend that out with the E55 just pulling out that darker color towards the center or towards wherever I feel like there would be a highlight where that sun would be shining and hitting like on the outside of his arm or the center of his head and uh, leaving a little bit of space for that highlighted color and then I'll fill in everything that remains with that E53. For the sloth photo, I'm using E40, E41, and E43 for the tree. I thought it would be fun to give it kind of a lighter color just to add some contrast. And then for the sloth's body, I'm using E70, E71, E74, E77, and E79. I used the E79 and the E77 to color in the areas around his eyes and also his little claws. For his fur, I'm just going to use the lightest three shades, so the E70, E71, and E74. The E74 is going to be my darkest, that's going to be what I'm using to lay in my shadows. And again, I'm just putting them down towards the bottom edges of his um, belly and arms and legs because that would be where the sun would not be able to hit and um, 
I'm blending out with the E71 and then filling in all that remains with the E70. I'm also going to color in his face with the E70. And then I'll add a little bit of that E79 for his nose. I wanted the leaves that are in the foreground and in focus to be a different and richer shade than the leaves that are in the background so that they really stand out. So I'm using G21, G24, and G28. I'm using the G28 closest to the stem of the branch and then blending out with the G24 and filling in with the G21 at the tips. I'll use Y26 to give my sloth some amber colored eyes so they really stand out from the rest of him and then I'll trim these out. So for my card base I'm going to take the all lined up background stamp and I'm going to ink that up with some green ink and then I can grab my card base which is made from sour apple cardstock and I'm going to line that up with the stripes and press that down. Then I'll rub my fingers over the back of it just to make sure that all the ink transfers and then carefully turn that over. And while I'm working on that card base, I'm just going to continue by popping that into my Misty so that I can stamp on the inside as well. I'm using one of the sentiments from Picture Perfect as well as a little star and heart image. And there you can see that. Moving on, I've trimmed out two of the Polaroid Shaker Frame Dynamics out of some blue raspberry cardstock, and then I use the hashtag captions to add my sentiments right into the bottom area. I'm going to back those with some white cardstock just so that I can add some different letters over top. I didn't want that stark white, I wanted something that was a little bit softer, so I did die cut some extra letters out of some grout gray cardstock. So now I can dot some liquid glue into those negative spaces and then I can pop those grout gray letters right over top. So they're going to fit just perfectly right in those spaces. And then I just used a small pair of scissors to make sure that those letters were firmly pressed into place. I trimmed out the two photos of our cute jungle critters with the selfie squares dynamics and now I'm adding a thin bead of glue to the outside edge of that and then I'll pop that Polaroid frame right over top. I've lined up my photos on my card base where I want them to go and now I'm adding some liquid glue to the back of them and pressing them down into place. I did make sure not to go all the way to the edges with the glue so that there would be a little bit of lift there and it would just add some dimension. I wanted something up at the top of each frame so that it would look like our photos are actually hanging from something and I thought that this uh, tree branch dynamic would be perfect because it really adds to the whole jungle theme. So I'm going to add one over on the left on top of the monkey selfie and then I'm going to flip it over and use the reverse side so that the branches are going in a different direction and that one's going to go on top of our sloth selfie. Then I'll dot some liquid glue where I want the leaves to go. I'm just going with a couple at a time so that that glue doesn't dry out and also so I can figure out the placement. And then I'll just grab those little leaves and use the different sizes to add to the different branches. And you can see that I'm even overlapping the selfies at times and that's just so that it'll really integrate into the photos and just seem like a really cohesive um, design. I'll trim off the branches that are hanging off the edges and then I'll finish up the card with one extra leaf down on the lower part of each Polaroid. So that is going to complete our card for today. There's another peek at the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think it came out super cute. These images from Birdie Brown are just so adorable. So if you enjoyed the April edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment down below. I love to read your feedback. Subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Bye-bye.